When a steam train is derailed, it can cause significant damage to the train, the track, and people and property in the vicinity of the accident. Understanding how derailment can occur is important for improving safety measures and preventing accidents in the future. In today's video, we will be showing you how steam trains get rerailed. Without further ado, let's begin. Steam trains have been an important part of transportation for many years, but they are susceptible to a range of issues, including derailment. When a steam train derailed, it can cause significant damage to the train, the track, and people and property in the vicinity of the accident. We will explore the potential causes of derailment in steam trains, including problems with the track, issues with the locomotive, and human error. Understanding how derailment can occur is important for improving safety measures and preventing accidents in the future. One of the most common causes of derailment in steam trains is problems with the track. Rail tracks are the foundation upon which trains travel, and they must be carefully maintained and inspected to ensure they are in good condition. However, even with regular maintenance, tracks can become damaged or worn, increasing the risk of derailment. When a train travels over a damaged or worn out section of track, it can cause the wheels to shift position or even come off the rails entirely, causing the train to derail. Common issues with the track include misaligned rails, weak or loose joints, damaged or missing rail fasteners, and other types of damage that can cause instability in the track. Another potential cause of derailment in steam trains is an issue with the locomotive. The locomotive is responsible for pulling the train and maintaining a safe and steady speed. However, if the locomotive is not in good condition, it can increase the risk of derailment due to mechanical failure. Examples of issues with a locomotive that can cause derailment to include problems with the braking system, worn or damaged wheels, and faulty bearings. Additionally, if the driver does not apply the brakes correctly or operates the train in a way that is outside the design parameters, it can cause the train to derail. Human error can also play a significant role in causing a derailment. For example, if the driver is distracted or not paying attention to the signals, it can cause the train to derail. Similarly, if the driver is not experienced or is not properly trained, it can also increase the risk of derailment. In addition to the potential consequences for people and property in the vicinity of the accident, derailment can also have a significant impact on the transportation industry. When a train is derailed, it can cause significant delays and disruptions to the transportation network, and it can take significant time and resources to repair the damage caused by the derailment. To prevent derailment in steam trains, it is important to maintain the track and locomotive and to ensure that drivers are well-trained and experienced. Additionally, it is important to have proper safety measures in place to minimize the risk of derailment and to respond quickly and effectively if an accident does occur. In conclusion, steam trains are an important part of transportation history, but they are also susceptible to the derailment, which can cause significant damage and disruption. Understanding the potential causes of the derailment is essential for improving safety measures and preventing accidents in the future. By properly maintaining the track and locomotive, training and monitoring drivers, and implementing proper safety measures, we can reduce the risk of derailment and ensure the continued safe operation of steam trains. So guys, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section below. For more interesting content, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Have a nice day and I will see you in the next video.